Okay, so I think I have found a DIY solution to the compost bin. So the first thing we are going to need, well technically the second, but it's the thing that I'm most excited about, is a drill. A power tool, people. Alright, so I have my drill. And this drill bit is weird, it's like 7.30 seconds or something like that, I don't know. My boyfriend had a kit and I took one that looked good. <clears throat> That's our neighbor who likes to ride around on his motorcycle. Um, okay, so yeah, then I have, let me show you. Okay, I have these two um, Rubbermaid type boxes. Uh, that we got from Costco. They were $8 each, so we're in this right now for like $16 plus tax because the United States does not include sales tax in our prices. <laughs> we're awesome at so many things. Okay, so now I'm going to take the power drill and drill holes into the bottom and the top, which is that yellow top right there. Sorry, our garage is a disaster. So yeah. So I ended up going off camera to finish the second bin. It just got too much to try to hold the camera and drill at the same time. I wanted to mention really quick that the reason why we are drilling holes is because you need airflow in your compost bin that helps aid in decomposition, but you don't want the holes to be big enough that rodents can get in the bin. So that's the balance we're trying to strike there. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so you can see the bins now. Um, they were originally going to be up under there, but we decided that this would be a better place for them. Me again. One quick thing. Uh, you'll notice that the bins are sitting on a piece of lumber. That's the white thing that you can see. And that is important because you need to be able to have them off the ground just a little bit so that moisture and water and stuff can drain out. So I just wanted to mention that really quickly. Um, as you can see, they have holes on the top and on the sides. Yeah, they have them on all the sides as well as the bottom. We are slightly concerned now that the holes are not big enough or that maybe we don't have enough of them you're also slightly concerned that this is going to trap all the rainwater um and so we are considering getting a tarp but right now this is what we're working with and then inside you can see this is all the stuff that i've been saving is now in here um, as well as some leaves that i got from the woods that are in our backyard so that's it, and we're going to see what happens. <laughs> 